and I said Rincon 3 or 2, $115. Awesome. I would buy the Rincon lineup over the... Victory, victory, victory. Oh my, my. This has been a long time coming, everybody. Dreams do come true. What am I talking about? There it is, the Hoka Rincon 3. So, if you've been watching the channel a long time, you know that I save my old running shoes. I don't send them off or give them away. And that's been very hard. And I realize some of you don't like that, and that's okay. The reason I don't send them off around the world is because vlogs like this one, okay? I'm in it for the long haul here on YouTube, just so you know. I have that marathon perspective, pun intended, meaning I've got the Rincon 1 right over there, the 2, now the 3 all the popular shoes that are out there that we have been testing and working on together for the last three years. For example, we just did a live stream, uh, the running shoe buy guide that I do every Friday, and we talked about the turbo. We are yearning, many out there are yearning for the return of the turbo lineup from Nike, but uh, we're just waiting. So I've got the turbo one, turbo two, and we're just waiting for that continuation from Nike. If you're listening, we would love to see the return of the, of the turbo. Or for me, example, I have the, the uh, Speedcross 4 um, and the Speedcross 5, and I think many trail runners out there are waiting for the Speedcross 6 or the, uh, the Speedgoat lineup from Hoka. Oh my goodness, the list goes on and on and on. Bottom line, I've been waiting for this moment where I have one spot, actually, come over here, where I have, I have one spot where I can store all, and they're not organized yet. Okay, so in these cabinets are the running shoes, all of them. Um, maybe there's a few more down in the basement, but um, let's just pull them out here. I think they're Rincons, and again, I'm still getting, like for example, oh my goodness, look at this, look at this, throwback, the baby blues. Who found this YouTube channel because of the baby blues from the beacon, the original beacon, okay? The beacon one two, three, where, you know, the four, like I've, I've got them all. So that, okay, so the key here, let me, oh, there they are. There's the twos, where's the ones? Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to do some more digging. This is it, this is it, this is it, okay. Hoka Rincon one, Hoka Rincon two, and now the Hoka Rincon three. So the reason, again, that I keep the running shoes is so that we can compare the, like imagine, imagine who out there in the world has all of the Pegasuses, Pegasuses. Can you imagine what, there's 38, are we on, right? I think we're right, no, 37, no, 38. Imagine if you had every single Pegasus from Nike. Can you, can you, that would, that would be a collector's, I mean, literally, there's probably collectors out there that have every single Pegasus, well, that is why I hold on to the shoes. Let's go compare them, break them down, give you my insights as to how they have evolved over the past, uh, so we were talking 2019 for the one, 2020 for the two, and then 2021, did I do that right? Yeah, 2021 for the three. I love it. All right, let's go to the, and also I'm gonna share how I will, uh, how I would improve the Hoka Rincon 4. Oh man, I'm having, having way too much fun doing this. Just reminiscing even back to 2019 where this YouTube channel was at. When this shoe arrived on the scene, probably 5,000 subscribers at the, if, again, if you found this channel through the Rincon One, let us know down in the chat. Oh, it's just fun to see. I, do, I mean, oh, I just like to see the old colorway. It's just a good time. And, and to be able, most importantly right now, to be able to analyze the progression of the iterations and what is going through the, the brainstorming sessions at Hoka out in California as they're trying to figure out, okay, 
actually they already know based on um, the timeline it takes to develop a running shoe at which I learned from the ASICS conversation. I knew it before that, but the ASICS conversation from a couple weeks ago, um, well, with Mac, not with Mac, uh, uh, Robert, with Robert from ASICS, it's uh, it's like a 2018 to 24, but really 24 to, for the bigger shoes, 24 month runway to get a shoe from uh, ideation uh, to production to showing up at running shoe stores around the world, okay? So the Rincon 1, so really the Rincon 4, in theory, is already designed and might even already be in production. Who knows? Probably not quite yet. Uh, but anyway, okay, let's put that over there. Oh, I should have cleared some space out. I'll be, actually, I'm just gonna leave this guy right there. Biggest updates from the one to the two to the three is that incredibly, and we're gonna weigh, actually, let's weigh them right now. We're gonna weigh them. The weight has dropped even though, so the outsole, let me just hold this up real quick. There is more rubber on the outsole for the Rincon 3 versus the two and the one. But the weight, and let's just do it real quick here. Okay, Rincon 1 in my size, seven ounces. Rincon 2 in my size, seven, is there something? Oh, sorry, hold on, let me take, let me take the cardboard out, there we go. Seven, uh, about 7.2 ounces, at least in this, uh, that guy. And then the Rincon 3, six, 0.6 ounces. There on your screen are the official measurements from our men's size nine, women's size eight. That is awesome. So I had actually forgotten that the Rincon 3 had dropped, you know, 3.3.4 ounce. That's just awesome. Great job, Hoka. You always want to at least stay at the same weight class or drop just a little bit from iteration to iteration. So they are pulling that off. In the Rincon 3, um, it is a revised early stage meta rocker, whereas the Rincon 2 is just a classic meta rocker. And I gotta say, I was not as excited about the ride in the Rincon 2. So I'm excited that they have made it a, a leap back to the early stage meta rocker for the Rincon 3, just so you are aware there. Of course, they are all neutral road running shoes. And I'll just say right now, while I'm thinking of it, butter, and it came up in the live stream, a hundred, oh, who asked the question? What shoe? I think the gentleman asked, you know, if I should only buy one shoe on a budget, what should I buy? And I said Rincon 3 or two, $115. Awesome. I would buy the Rincon lineup over the Clifton lineup from Hoka any day of the week, right? 130 versus 115. I think you get more bounce. They're lighter, a little more pep under step. Now, some people, and I, okay, who is the shoe best for the Rincon lineup? You need to be in charge of your foot strike. Kind of like the Rebel V2 lineup, as far as like, not as loosey goosey as the Rebel V2, but they're definitely a, like you need to make sure you have strong feet, strong ankles, and that you're not over pronating or supinating a ton. Okay, there's no, there's not a, there's really no stability in these in this lineup. Now, what would I improve moving forward? Now, again, it's probably too late. We probably Hoka, if you're listening, you probably this is probably for the Rincon Five someday, and you better believe I will be saving all the iterations uh, from now until eternity. Um, so the Rincon 4, let's just call it the Rincon 5. What I would recommend, Hoka, with my idea, so here's the Rincon 3, is a fully gusset tongue, kind of like the Mach, okay, or semi-gusset. Oh, uh, is the Mach 4, hold on, where is it? I know I have it here, hold on. Just had, okay, semi-gusset for the Mach. I would consider full gusset, as long as it doesn't bump the weight up too, too much. But Mach 4 is semi-gusseted, just so you are aware. I would think about a little more, it's a nice heel counter, but I would, a little more heel flare, just a little bit. Okay, that's one, one idea. A little more strength, Hoka, to the eyelet chain. How do you do that without increasing the weight of the shoe? Don't know exactly, but just, ugh, just a little more uniformity through that eye. It's just a little on the slop. It's, I think it has improved 100%. From the, from the Rincon 1, but I had just a little more strength to that eyelet chain. And the last thing I would improve, Hoka, for the Rincon 4 or 5 is accentuate, increase the decoupled groove from the midfoot 
to the, I would shave out another two millimeters, maybe three millimeters from the outsole here, okay? And let's just hold up the, again, the two to the three for the, can you see that there, okay? So there's the two, here's the three, all right? There you go, they added a little more rubber because I will say the life, uh, the durability is not amazing for the Rincon lineup. You know, I think 250 to 300 miles is pretty much spot on, which is on the lower end for a road running shoe. You know, I like to see at least 400 miles, but you know, the creasing, the wear pattern on the outsole, it is gonna, but it's, it's amazing. Hoka, you did it. They increased the outsole rubber while dropping the weight. Of the, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I, that's, uh, as I'm thinking of it right now, all these shoes are available down below in the description from Running Warehouse. You pick them up down there with those links and you help support this running YouTuber trying to, trying to do his thing down here in his basement. All right, once again, I'm very excited about having, holding on to these shoes and this is why I saved the shoes so that we can really dive into the iteration progression and see how shoes are improving over the long haul. That marathon perspective. Comment of the day, Sean Ryan. Here we go. I'll, he says, I'll be running the full marathon in Detroit on Sunday. It'll be my second marathon. Hoping to break four hours this time around. Thanks for your daily inspiration, brother. Sean, you get the comment of the day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll turn that doorknob together in Detroit on Sunday. Oh, and I will, on that note, for the group run at 10.30 a.m., and all the details, again, are posted down below in the, uh, on the Strava group run, um, I'll still, even though the marathon runners might not be done, I will be hanging out in the finish area after the group run. So look for me, I'll be looking for you, and we're just gonna have a good time in Detroit on Sunday. Question of the day, who is racing this weekend? Where are you racing? What's the distance? And what's your goal? Okay, all down in the dis all down in the uh, comments, I should say. Oh man, ah, okay, we're tossing it to the Rincon One full review. Oh, so fun, way back. Oh, so so good. Okay, we're gonna keep saving running shoes around here, everybody. All right, onward and upward. We'll toss it to right there, right there, right there. Rincon One, Rincon One. Seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.